Well, let's take a look at the LightCAD EXC drawing environment. This large area to the right here, where my cursor, that's the intersection of the horizontal and vertical lines, is the drawing area. That's where your design takes shape. There are a series of drop-down menus, so if you wanted to, do, to draw points or lines or whatever, you would pick one of these. If you wanted to modify your drawing, you would choose tools from the drop-down menu, or alternatively, you could draw a line by picking this particular icon on that toolbar. So your drawing is constructed in the area to the right. I've made the background white, but it could be made dark. To the left is what's called the property zone or properties box, and it tells me that the current color that I'm drawing with is magenta. The layer that I'm drawing on is layer zero. I could change layer by clicking on a down arrow there. If there were other layers in the drawing, I could switch to another layer and so on. So this is called the properties box. However, when we select an entity, let me pick one of these red crosses here, which is a point entity. The properties box is really useful. It tells us that that is a point and tells me that the color of the point is red and gives me the X and Y coordinates of that point and the Z coordinate as well. So if I pick a different entity, and here's what's called a polyline, that's a shape denoted by a series of vertices, one, two, three, four, and five, and so on. Again, the information in the properties box on the left is different. I could have a fill, as I have in this case, so filling is on and I'm filling with a solid color, but I've changed the transparency to 100 from 255. So let's throw a couple of entities in. We've already seen a point entity. What I've done there is if I select the polyline, what I've done is place some points at the vertices of that polyline. I'll select that point there and either right click and select erase or the delete key on my keyboard would work. So I've denoted the vertices of this compound shape denoted by a polyline entity. But in this case here, if I select the polyline, I've applied quadratic B-spine curve fitting and so on. So I've use the polyline command. Let's take it graphics and polyline to draw a polyline and I can snap to its endpoint and exit. So that's a closed polyline with a series of vertices giving that shape. And whenever I pick it, I can look in the properties box and I can see the properties of that entity, the perimeter and the area and so on. I can zoom in and out with the wheel of the mouse. If I move the wheel of the mouse away from me, I zoom in. If I move the wheel of the mouse back out, I zoom out. If I double click on the wheel, I would expect that to do what's called a zoom extent. It doesn't in this incarnation of LightCAD EXE, so I'll right click and pick zoom extents. You might have noticed when I pick right click I've got a series of drawing options. I can change my background color, change the default resolution for the value of arcs and ellipses and so on. A right click gives me all sorts of options when an entity is not selected. So if we just have a quick look at these entities, I've got lines. Here's a line drawn. Let me zoom in. Here's what's called a ray. And the way over to the left here is a construction line. And that you saw was a polyline. In this case, I've applied Bezier curve fitting. So we've dealt with under graphics, points, lines, simple lines, rays, and construction lines, and polylines. So we can work our way through all of these graphic entities. Each of them puts a different entity into the drawing. But this very first movie is trying to give you some sense of how the drawing interface works. Notice the X and Y coordinates down in the status line show the current position of the cursor. 
and the pixel size will change as we zoom in and the visible area is also given there. So there's a lot of information in the LightCAD EXE environment. You pan by holding the wheel down and dragging so you've got very good control over um, your view of the developing model. I'd encourage you to use the distance command which says we can roughly work out the size of the polyline from there to there. Notice that the cursor is jumping to vertices or control points. So that tells me it's 2341 units from one side to the other. And I'm working in the metric environment, so in my mind I would interpret that as 2.341 meters across that particular shape. And if I, again, if I wanted the area, I simply select it. That gives me the area in square units. So the area, if I shift that decimal point by six, that's 3.2 square meters in area. So I hope that helps you get some appreciation of the LightCAD EXE interface and how things work.